Hello and welcome to a new series of video about the new project. Now springtime is coming. Days are getting longer, it's getting hot outside, so I am already eager to turn on my barbecue. All right, and I, I really like to have uh, uh, smoked stuff and so on, and this takes usually long, and you really have to take care that the temperature is at a certain range and so on. So I thought, hey, Sounds like a project, right? I want to have a barbecue controller. I want to have a barbecue controller which is controlling the temperature of my of of my barbecue station. This is operating the air intake and so on. Let's see what I have in mind. Okay, let's briefly explain this to you. I have the barbecue. Yeah? I have. I have one measurement station, okay? Draw it in here. Measurement station. Measurement station. This has the, the task that it has a temperature probe. Okay. Here, temperature probe. One or more. I will design it that we have four. And this shall measure the temperatures at four different positions, wherever. Yeah. If it's, they are connected. Okay. If they are connected, it shall be power supplied with batteries. And we shall have a uh, wireless model. Module. Which will transfer this temperature readings and so on, to a control station. Somewhere we have the control station. This is operating this blue is here. Huh? Air air for heating huh? for the cold. Huh? I have a cold barbecue. Okay. Air for heating for cold. Huh? This is operating this. And it has also a wireless module. And this wireless module shall communicate with this wireless module. So we have here communication between those two. Communication ongoing, actual temperature. communication. So we have here the actual temperature and so on, and this is reacting down by increasing or decreasing the air, air for the heating. Yeah? If the temperature is too low, it will increase the air opening. If it's too high, it will close the air opening. Yeah? So those two work together. And then we, uh, I want to have an operator station somewhere. This shall be a handheld device. Yeah. This shall be a handheld device, handheld. They are more or less uh, 
located, yeah, because the, the temperature probes, they are usually with cables and so on. Yeah, so this must be at the, at the barbecue. This also must be at the barbecue to be able to operate the air intake and the operator station. I want to have it in hand. Yeah, this is for display and user input. So it has also a wireless module. Display reasons, those two shall communicate communicate with each other. I want to see the temperatures, and of course those two shall also communicate to each other to, to adjust the set point, temperature set point. Yeah. So we have a communication between three stations. Uh, one is for operator station with a display and, and stuff, one is purely for measurement, and one is for controlling then the air intake. Okay, this is what, what I think. Yeah. Well, I want this to be able to operate without a Wi-Fi network. Yeah. And I have bought those things, these wireless modules. Yeah. These wireless modules, uh, write it down, wireless modules. They are called NRF. 24L01. Those are those modules. Yeah. And so they can send and receive. And I think it should be possible to make a mesh or, or something like this, uh, intercommunication between several devices with three of these devices. Yeah? So I don't I it is not necessary that I have a Wi-Fi capability at the controllers, at the at the it's not necessary to use an ESP. I could also use, for instance, an Arduino Nano or stuff like that. Yeah? All right. So this is this is that thing. Yeah. Then the the, the the most thinking right now and where I want to start is the measurement station. Okay. For the measurement station, barbecue measurement station. I think it's okay to use an Arduino there, Arduino Nano or whatever. Huh? Let's see what I thought about this. So we have somewhere our controller. Huh? With some in and outputs and stuff. Huh? Then I have here this NRF 24L0.1 yeah. This is connected by SPI bus. We have a ground. We have a 3.3 volt. Yeah. We have a chip enable. We have something called CSN. I'm not entirely sure right now what this is. Then we have a, a clock. A MOSI and a MISO SPI bus interface. Yeah? So I have to connect this uh, somehow hmm? to my controller. That's one. Uh, to, com to communicate to others. Then I also bought this stuff. Look at that. This is my temperature probes. Huh? Temperature probes, they are uh, negative NTC stuff. I also already bought this little this little connectors so that I can plug it in. And now I want to know how much how much resistance the right now those have. Turn it on. Here I have my cables. Connect the two sides. Let's 
3 ohms really There's something wrong 100 kilo ohms all right so this means seems to be 100k uh NTCs. i will try to touch them now because actually we should see the the if my hand is getting what well, yeah it's dropping the value is really dropping is my hand that cold okay now it starts to drop okay so it is an NTC negative temperature coefficient the hotter it gets the less the less uh, resistance we will see yeah my hands are pretty cold right now but we are dropping we are dropping huh? I think it is a good idea to use half of the size of the of the NTC as reference and I know that we really have to be accurate measuring the resistance of these uh, so I also bought another stuff get this away I also bought another stuff this stuff here yeah this is an analog digital converter 16-bit analog digital converter so not only 10 bits like in Arduino yeah? it's 16 bit yeah? so I am going to use this ADC here external ADC it has four channels so enough for my four probes yeah? so I have here an ADC yeah? this is called ADS 1115 I think this is the name we have a VDD voltage supply we have a ground yeah? and this is actually i squared c so we have a scl line and a scd line okay and on the other side we have an a0 input a1 a2 a3 we have four channels okay so what i'm going to do is that i have here somewhere the controller plus 5 volts yeah i will connect those plus 5 volts to the vdd yeah. then I will make here somewhere uh, a resistor and since this has 100k I will use 74k okay then there is the plug then there is my NTC there's also the plug so this is this this connector here uh, this connector shall this be and this is the resistor and here I will go to ground this here I will connect to here All right. so this voltage shall vary if it's cold the voltage is high if it's hot the voltage is low maybe I turn this around that we have here plus and here I will think about that and I want to have noise reduction so I'm going to use here an RC module to ground I'm not going directly into my ADC I will use here 1K and here 100 nanofarad yeah. then I have here a noise reduction uh -huh. at the input I will use this four times this is the same hmm. The ground will be connected to ground. And of course, this is also ground and so on. Yeah, G and D, this shall be ground. Yeah. Then we have the SCL. This is connected here. If it's an Arduino, then it, it's the SCL then. If it's an Arduino, that's A5. And this is connected to a CD line. If it's an Arduino, it's A4. Uh, Arduino mm, Nano, for instance. Uh, ground, I will connect the ground here. 3.3 3 volt, I will use 3.3 3 volt from the Arduino. Uh, 
The SCK, which which board is this? I have to look up here. It's 13, yeah. SCK 13. Then the Mosey and the Miso, which is connected, and this is here 11, and this is here 12. All right. In case of Arduino, those those values in bracket, and those are just some some general purpose IOs. Huh? Those two. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I think there's a library which can control this. So this is the plan for my measurement station. All the parts are there. This is where I'm going to be. This is where I want to start. I'm not entirely sure if I should start here or should start here. I will start here. I will start here by measuring a temperature with this ADC. So next time I will try to use the ADC here to get some data. First, I just want to have some data. What? <laughs> Just want to have some data and I also want to try this filter there if this is somehow worth putting in or not. Yeah. So this will be my next step in this project. Yeah. Try the ADC ADS 1150 with an UNO. Good! New project! New fun! Hopefully. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.